Hi, my name is Chris Kovach and I am the Regional Sales Consultant in Northeastern Florida for Toby Dynabox. Today I'm going to help answer a question that was posed by a local SLP who is working with a client who would like to start reading books and they'd like to start utilizing that in a therapy session. And this SLP wanted to know if there were preloaded books or if there are ways for them to create those books within the communicator software that they have on their iSeries device. So there's a couple options. We're going to walk through two of them. Uh, the quickest and easiest option uh, if you're looking for a pre-created book, is to go out to our website at mytobydynabox.com and log into your account and then go to Page Set Central and run a search for, I just typed in book, I narrowed my search down to communicator only options and then I narrowed it down a little bit farther into just English books. Uh, from here I got three or four different pages, uh, 31 total results. Um, and what you can see is we'll, we'll kind of download this Hop on Pop Dr. Seuss book. So this is going to take just a moment and depending on your internet connection it's going to allow you to uh, uh, download that book and once it downloads it is going to automatically start uh, the book on the screen. So if it's something you like you may want to uh, save it. If it's something you don't like you can just disregard. But you can see in this particular layout they have scanned in or taken pictures of the Hop on Pop book. They have loaded that to the page and they've added a couple keyword features here at the bottom such as Hop and Pop. Uh, when you turn the page, you do actually get, you can't, I doubt you can hear it, um, but you do actually get the sound of a page turning on this book. And when you click on the words or if the client were to look at the words, Pop, pop. Turn that up. Pop is up. You'll see that it speaks for you, and then you can be interactive with the book as well, and you can ask, well, where did the pup go? Up. And, you know, on different pages, you can pup. continue to pup. interact with the client uh, regarding the book that they're reading. So that's one option, is to go out to the web page and to download a book. Now, if you wanted to utilize this template, you could potentially edit it and put in your own pictures and your own words to make it personal for uh, you or your customer. What we're going to do is use something that is already created uh, as a template for us in Sono Primo. So right now I am on the Emerging Communicator default homepage. And you'll see that I have Sono Primo, uh, Control Panel, and Homepage in my upper left hand corner. If you do not have those, you're going to want to add them to your current page set. So you want to hit the third button on the side of your iSeries device, or you can right click or tap and hold on the screen to bring up the quick menu. You're going to want to edit the home page, add a page set, go into Emerging Communication, and you'll see in the add-on products, you'll have Sono Primo Control Panel and Sono Primo Home Page. If you don't have them on your page set already or on your home page, you're going to want to select them, uh, get the red box around them or the pink box around them, and click the Add to Home Page button for each. Then you can hit the X to close out. You'll see they've been moved or added to the bottom of your home page. When you close completely out, you'll see they're at the bottom. What we want to do is go into the Sono Primo control panel, and we want to create something new from a template. So the second button over here on the left is going to allow us to go in and see what our existing templates are. So you'll see on that first row, there is the template called book. We're going to select book, and here it allows us eight different options for the background color. I'm going to just pick the basic blue, but you could pick whatever is most appropriate for that particular story or that particular customer. And from here, you'll, it'll take you right into a live version of that book, which has nothing loaded on it. So what we need to do is make those edits. So we're again going to hit the third button on the side of the device, or we're going to right click, or we're going to tap and hold on the screen. Our goal is to bring up the quick menu guide, and we want to hit the edit page set button. From here it takes us in, and we can change the pictures, the sounds, the words, whatever we would like to modify, we can do so here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my picture area of my book and I'm going to insert a picture and you'll see that it toggles on or off on the right hand side your search functionality. So I'm going to type in sponge because I know we have a picture of Spongebob Squarepants. I'm going to apply that picture and it'll just give me my picture of Spongebob Squarepants. Now in the text I want to highlight the text box, hit the text button, and it's going to allow me to delete the text that's in there and write whatever I would like the story to say. Okay, 
right, so that's page one. Now, if I wanted to add page two, three, four, five, and continue down the list, I would just go to those specific pages. So I'll add one more just to show you it again. I'm going to select the picture page area. This time I'm going to type in Patrick because I know we have a symbol of Patrick Starfish. Um, now this is also where if you took pictures of your own or you scanned in an existing book uh, to make a digital version of it, you could hit browse and then wherever you save those onto the device or onto the USB drive, uh, if you plug the USB drive into the side of the device, you could browse to that location um, and locate those pictures as well. So what we're going to do is now change the text on this one. Okay, so if I wanted to preview that book, I can hit my Run View button, which is the one that looks like a little play button up here on the toolbar. And it's going to take me out to the first page, and you'll notice that I have unsaved changes listed in my upper left-hand corner. That's kind of a warning to me to make sure I don't exit out completely or else any of the work I would have done will have been lost. So right now, when I look at the, the picture, I currently don't have it set up to play a sound or do anything like that. If you wanted to get more advanced, you could download sounds or maybe the SpongeBob, SpongeBob theme song or something along those lines and apply that to the picture. Uh, and you could play the sound. So whenever the client looked at the picture, it would play a sound, and then they would be read the story when they looked at the words. This is SpongeBob SquarePants. He lives in a pineapple under the sea. And we can hit next. <laughs> You'll hear the page change. This is Patrick Starfish. He is SpongeBob's friend. Okay. So now what I want to do is, again, I'm going to hit the third button on the side of the device, right-click, uh, go into Edit Page Set, and from here, I want to save this, so I want to hit File, Save, and I already had a SpongeBob book in there, so I'm going to delete it. But what you'll see is it saves us to our Documents folder on the device or on your computer under My Documents, Communicator 5, and then you may not see User 2. You may see uh, the client's name. So if this was a device for myself, it may have Chris listed there, and then within that page set. So I'm just going to save this as the SpongeBob SquarePants book or the SpongeBob book. I'm going to say yes. I want to save it. And now when I hit play, you'll see I don't have the unsaved changes in the upper left-hand corner. So I'm going to continue to back out. Now we have two options of being able to view the book and utilize the book. We can use it within Sono Primo, or we can add it directly to our home page. So if you're already accessing Sono Primo, it may be best to just add it to uh, the Sono Primo page, in which case you want to select uh, Page Sets, My Page Sets, and make sure you checkbox the SpongeBob book. And from there you can hit Exit. And I'm just going to exit directly out to the Sono Primo homepage at this point. So I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see the SpongeBob book is down here at the bottom for me. Um, and I could go through uh, the book. Now I'm going to exit Sono Primo. Do you really want to exit? And now if I wasn't using all of the features of Sono Primo or other tools and I just wanted to have it on my home page, I can do that as well. So again, we're going to go into our quick menu. So the third button on the side of the device, right click or tap and hold the screen, and we're going to edit the page, uh, the home page again. So in the same way we added the control panel and the home page for Sono Primo, we're going to do the same thing for the book we just created. We're going to select add page set, only now we're going to go into my page set since we created this one. We're going to select the SpongeBob book, click the Add to Homepage button, make sure that that uh, checkbox is in the upper corner, hit X, hit X again, and now that book is added to our homepage. So I hope this helps answer the question. If you have anything else, please feel free to contact us. Thanks, and have a great day.